So now what we want to do is implement a way to toggle the sorting of our posts based off of a key value object inside of an array. So if I click on this order by date thing, it's going to flip the order of the array based off of that date. That's a simple way to say that. Although you could also use it for any other key or any other part of that object, right? So if we look at that data, I could use it for ID, I could use it to sort by a name, you could do it for all sorts of things just like that. Uh, but what I'm going to do is in here, I have this method already toggle sort by date. And I already have my post list or this array of items that we've already kind of gone through. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this reverse method. And this will simply just reverse the list, right? So I click on it, it reverses it much like the other one. Okay, so that's cool, but what I wanna do is actually sort it by that key value pair. So what I can do in here is just do dot sort, not sport, but sort, there we go, and then use a fat arrow method to do it. So let's say for instance, a dot date is greater than b dot date, right? So what is this gonna do? Well, it's taking those arguments. So if I change it to ID, we could change it to ID. You could also change it to reorder by like the title, all sorts of things like that. But this will allow me to set that state. Okay, so let's go ahead and try it. And I hit order by date and it does reorder it, but it only does it once, right? So what I actually wanna do is have another method that understands what the current state is or what the current order of that state is or not. And you could do this in multiple ways, but what I'm gonna do is just a Boolean value. And I'm just gonna set an initial state and say is oldest first, and we'll go ahead and say true. Because by default, how my JSON is coming in, the oldest item is true. There are checks and things that we could do to make sure that this is set correctly. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. All I'm gonna worry about is make sure that I've got my is oldest first in here, on those two areas, right? So when the component mounts, as well as when we're actually going to run um, the constructor. Okay, so in our toggle sort date, I wanna go, go ahead and grab this method um, inside, well, let's actually make another method called actual um, do sort, right? So I'm gonna create a whole nother method that actually does the sorting for me that's outside of this event, because I might wanna do this sort somewhere else. And let's just call it sort by date instead of do sort. And really, all I'm gonna do is a condition here and say if this.state.is oldest first. So if it's the oldest one first, like if we just said, hey, set the state to being oldest, then do the opposite of this one, right? So all I would do here is let's go ahead and grab, oh wait, we, we don't want that reverse. Oh, so maybe we made a little mistake there. We just want post list. So I'm gonna leave it here, save it, and let's try that again, reverse it, and it's still reversing, right? So it did, like we had reverse there, so it was reversing it, but it then was actually correct in the first place. So we would know that by more data, but this, this allows us to see that, yeah, that sort is going, this is the newest. So in other words, I would put it something like this. And that is where I'd actually sort that item, right? So I would do, I would just reverse these. And now this is showing oldest first, this is showing newest first. Um, so this new list, what I wanna do is, well, roughly the same thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out, paste it in here and cut the state out and paste it down here. Okay, so this is actually, my now toggle. So all I'm gonna do is say this dot sort by date, I'm actually running that toggle, and then I do this dot set state, and that state, that new toggle state is going to be equal to this dot, the opposite of this dot state dot oldest first. Right, so this actually does the toggle, it toggles the state, and then it does that sort by date either way, based off of what that state is. Um, granted, I could set this state in here, and maybe I should, and maybe this is actually the toggle, 
right? So we do the oldest and we actually set the state based off of all of those things. Um, so I do wanna make sure that this list here is actually a little bit different than what I currently have it and basically going off of the post list like that. And then now we've got that set state and this should allow the toggle to actually work. So let's go ahead and save it and hit order by date. It doesn't seem to be toggling. Well, that's simple, it's this right here. So let's go ahead and just grab that because I'm, I'm toggling it and then I sort it back to where I had it. So I save that, refresh, order by date. And what do you know, it actually toggles. So unfortunately what's happening here is the toggle, we actually have to hit it twice in order for it to actually start toggling. Um, so that might have to do with how our state is being handled, right? So what if we change this is oldest first before we actually ran this, right? So what if we actually toggled that item first? Well, let's take a look. We'll do this dot set state and toggle that item, save it and refresh. It's still making me hit it a couple times. Right, so this might be related to how we're calling this, right? So the state by default is is oldest first. And when we do that, is this actually correct? Like, are we actually doing the right order of these things? Like, should I switch these to do the toggle? I hit order and now it seems to be working. Right, so that's just playing around with things, right? So actually, if the oldest is first, when that state is there, we wanna change it to newest first, and this is how you would do that. Otherwise, we would change it to oldest is first, right? Um, so these sorts of things that you'll get used to over time working with React, or just working with programming in general, because this is something that you would not necessarily intuitively do, you might be like, oh, well, the oldest first, that's the current state. It's the oldest one first. So I need to think like, how do I need to resort it? Oh yeah, I need to have the newest one first. So I need to refresh on how I actually go about doing that. And that that's one of those indications when I double clicked that button, that was an indication that I actually didn't have the state in the correct way. Now, of course, if I reverse order, and then order by date. It actually does get a little bit murky when I do stuff like that because reversing order in this case actually does reorder based off of what we ordered it to be. It's not like, right? So if I order by date and then hit reverse order, it's not changing the state in the same way. So you probably wouldn't use these two methods together. Instead, what you'd have is one that's order by date and then another one that orders by something different, um, such as like ID. So you could use this same method that we created here to order by ID. And then we would have to think about, well, if oldest is first, we'd have to kind of reevaluate how we did that with multiple different states to understand this. Or we would have some text and use a switch method. So like we would say something more like current order and or current ordering, and we would say oldest, right? So then in our method, we would have a condition here based off of whatever that ordering is, and then it would actually reorder things accordingly. Uh, but that's starting to get a little bit more advanced than we really need. If you really wanna see how that's done, let me know. I think you actually have enough skills now based on what we did here to make some sort of condition work um, with text instead of just a Boolean value. Um, because again, you, you're not gonna wanna reverse order and have order by date. You wouldn't have those side by side. But since we worked well on them together, that's why I wanted to show you is that you could do the sort in that way. Um, pretty cool. So let me know if you have questions. Subscribe to get everything because we're gonna be doing a lot more React.js tutorials in the future. And I look forward to seeing you next time.